Welcome to another episode of Cadence Fishing TV. And I'm with my great mate, Pascal, <laughs> and fishing over in France. Welcome, mate. Thanks ever so much for inviting us. And um, we're shooting some videos for our French YouTube channel. Uh, I've taken the chance to do some fishing myself this afternoon. Uh, Pascal and our good friend Bertrand are carp fishing. And um, me and Gerard, we're uh, fishing for the silverfish. I started on the feeder maybe with the hope of catching a carp, started catching some nice roach. So I'm going to give the waggler a go and that's going to be the theme of this video. But Pascal, tell us about the lake, uh, the region of France and a little bit about the venue. Uh, we are just in uh, what we call the Morvan. It's in Burgundy uh, in a county called uh, Nièvre, department uh, 58. So it's a very nice lake uh, called Pansière. It's uh, 500 hectares lovely wild and full of uh, white fish, many carps, pike, zander, but uh, really famous for coarse fishing. Yeah, um, well, what a beautiful place. The view is absolutely yeah. spectacular. We've been very lucky with the weather, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. This morning it was raining quite hard. We were getting some thunderstorms. And as you predicted, the weather now has improved. It's gone flat calm. And I can't wait to give the float a go. It's really. perfect for the wiggler <laughs> fishing, mate. So yeah. you should go ahead and start. Thanks ever so much. <laughs> You're welcome. As I mentioned with Pascal, um, I started fishing a feeder today, targeting carp, and started catching some nice roach and silver bream. So I started loose feeding a few maggots on a waggler line, and I'm just checking the depth. It's really quite deep on the feeder. I was fishing the feeder about 40 meters out, and I think it was about, well, it was definitely about 15, 16 foot deep. Um, Pascal explained that this lake was formed uh, by damming a river so there's obviously a, an old river bed out there somewhere but the depth I've got on a waggler around about 20 foot um, 20 meters out is about seven or eight foot and I'm going to start off fishing on that line uh, loose feed a bit closer as well see if I can get the fish closer but I'm just really interested to see if I can catch on the waggler I'm going to make a few balls. So I've been loose feeding for about the last half an hour while I was fishing the feeder. I'm just going to make three or four balls up of ground bait. And I'm just going to throw them in. So the ground bait mix I'm using is Bait Tech Pro Natural Extra. I've mixed that with 50% brown crumb. And it's nice, it's a nice sticky mix but one that's going to hopefully enable me to throw it out nicely and accurately but it's going to break up quite quickly and I've just got I've just laced that with casters a few micro pellets and some corn so I'm just going to throw those out I'll cast out first and um, hopefully that just might kick start the fish So 
The weather's changed dramatically during the day. This morning it was raining really quite hard. It's quite windy and the wind's dropped. We've got the most glorious afternoon now. It's lovely and mild. And it's just so exciting fishing new venues like this. Pascal fishes here quite a bit and he mentioned about the quality of the, the roach and bream fishing, so. Let's see if we can get them on the waggler. We've just started with double red maggot. Um, I'm not fishing too heavy. Oh, there we go, and that's a bite straight away. Well, that's a good sign. I was just saying I've started on double red maggot and I'm fishing just on the bottom. And there we go. That's a, a beautiful silver bream. I had two or three of those on the feeder. And I think some of them are hybrids, but some of them are definitely silver bream. But that's a great start. I'm fishing a bit heavier than I would do when I was normally targeting roach and skimmers. I'm fishing with a 013 hook length, which I guess is around about three and a half pound and a 16 hook. Because I think there's a fair chance of maybe hooking a, a smaller carp on this. It'd be nice to get one out if I do. But I'll obviously experiment and if, if I'm not really catching well, I might scale down. Conversely, I might go a bit heavier if, uh, if I'm getting plenty of bites. But I'm fishing on the drop. I've just got three number 10 shots down the line. Wow. And I've got another small fish. So both those fish were taken on the drop. And I'm fishing a three and a half AA semi-loaded insert waggler. But I just felt, because obviously it's um, quite mild and warm, the temperatures have been good for a while, the fish perhaps won't be feeding on the bottom. And I've just got a few maggots, a bit of corn, and I'm just gonna loose feed that to try and see if I can get the fish feeding up in the water. Oh, I bumped that one. I bumped that fish, so I'm going to change my hook to a, a 16 carbon match. It's a bit finer hook than what I was using. My friend's Pascal and Bertrand have caught some nice carp on the carp gear this morning, um, up to about 10 pounds. They're absolutely beautiful carp. And Pascal tells me there are bigger carp in here as well. And he's hoping to catch some of those over the next couple of days. It's just the most amazing venue. great thing with an insert waggler like this is I can watch the, the shot settle so I can see the float slowly starting to settle as each number 10 gets into position. I think I'm actually going to shallow up a little bit because I'm getting bites here and missing them. So I'm going to just shallow up about a foot. That looks about right and I'm going to try a, a grain of corn. Shot settling nicely. Oh, oh 
hell did I miss that one? I'm going back on the maggot. So I'm casting past the feed and then sinking the line and just drawing the float back into where I fed that ground bait and where I'm just loose feeding a few maggots. Oh, I didn't miss that one. I had a few little knocks and then the float went under nice and positively. What have we got here? Way. That's one of those silver bream, I'm pretty sure. You can see it's got a big eye. It's a bream shape. And it hasn't got red fins. So I don't think that's a hybrid, I think that's a true silver bream. Let's feed a bit of corn this cast. So I'm not too worried about spreading the bait around a little bit. There's obviously fish feeding out there and it's a big lake so I want to try and attract as many as I can into my area. And well this looks like it's going to be a pretty good day. <laughs> it's definitely a good amount of fish out there. It's another one about four ounce I suppose, four or five ounces. I love this part of France, Burgundy. I've um, been lucky enough to fish here a few times over the years with Pascal on the rivers and lakes. And basically, we drove here yesterday and it took about 11 hours door to door. So we came through the tunnel and the traffic was really good. So it is a bit of a, a, bit of a distance, but I think there's so much fishing on offer here. You know, there's so much variety and it's just so beautiful. So, definitely a place I want to keep coming back to. And I, I was discussing with Chappie that uh, it's a great place for a family holiday. There's so much to do around here and if for the fishermen in the family, there's plenty of fantastic fishing, that's for sure. That's a bit better silver bream on corn. Had to wait a bit longer for a bite, but that's a beauty. I think waggler fishing like this um, is such an effective method. Obviously it's a really simple method. Um, I'm fishing past the pole line. I've no idea what depth it is on the pole line. Um, and maybe the pole could be a good method as well, but Personally, I just love fishing like this. I love fishing a float and catching roach and skimmers and bream like this. Especially when you've got nice calm conditions like this, there's very little tow. I don't think there's really any tow at all. So I can achieve really good presentation with a waggler. And as I mentioned, present my bait really well on the drop when the fish are feeding as actively as they are. I just went on the corn again and this is a, another nicer stamped fish. Oh, that's a roach. Wow, that's a nice roach. Just hold him up for you. What a beautiful fish, absolutely immaculate. It's got to be, well, it's over half a pound that one. Oh, 
Well, it's amazing how quickly these fish have uh, switched on to the feed on this waggler line. And I think it's fair to say that perhaps these fish are never really fished for. They're feeding so confidently and they're absolutely immaculate fish. You can actually see some fizzing out there now. I don't know if that's a bigger fish, like a carp or something on the bottom, or whether it's these roach and skimmers that are disturbing the bottom, but there's definitely some activity out there. Hey, another nice roach. Well, I'm always thinking how I can sort of improve my catch rate, but it's going pretty quick at the moment. And so I might consider shallowing up a little bit. Or I might go a little bit deeper and fish with a bit more positive rig. So put a few more shot down the line to try and get my bait down quickly because there's a lot of fish out there and it, it always pays to just experiment like that, even when you're catching because Sometimes a change like that can bring a completely different stamp of fish or even a different species. Well, the roach have really turned up now. There's another beautiful fish around about six to eight ounces. So Pascal, looks like you've got another carp. Yeah. How many have you caught? Oh, uh, maybe five, six. Yeah. And what sort of size? Oh, it's small fish. It's only between, let's say, four pound and eight pound. They're great fun though, yeah. aren't they? They're really fighting. Yeah, yeah. It's wild fish, you know. It's very wild here. Yeah. They live very deep, so they, they fight a lot. Do you think this one might be a bit bigger? Don't know, we never know because if they fight so so hardly, we'll see. Well, I'm having some great fun fishing the waggler. Yeah. Since I started on that, I've caught some nice roach it's and fabulous. silver bream. I love it, the waggler fishing, it's nice. Just amazing how many cat fish you caught. Many, many, right? I'm having a great time, it's just unbelievable. And it's uh, great to hook up with Bertrand and Gerard as well. They're your brand ambassadors, aren't they, in yeah, this region? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bertrand lives on the lake here, yeah. so he's on the, the first on the spot. <laughs> and Gérard, he lives uh, in South Burgundy, close to my home. Yeah. And he fish mainly carpodrome and what you call commercial fishing. Commercial, right? yeah. yeah, type pole fishing. Yeah. And Bertrand's had a good carp, hasn't he? He's, he's had perhaps the biggest one, I think. Yeah, maybe 12 pound. Yeah. Not a big one, but the biggest of uh, this afternoon. Let's say maybe tomorrow we'll catch a bigger one. Let's see. Let's have a look at this one. It's really fighting, isn't it? Yeah. It's on the bottom. See that? Can't believe the weather. It's just a, it's turning into a beautiful oh, afternoon and evening, it's isn't it? Summer, mate. <laughs> I love it. Compared to this morning, anyway. It's summer. It's not too hot as it was last week. It was too hot. We were close to die last week, but this week it's just fishing day. You booked some good weather for us, didn't you? Yeah, I was lucky, mate. <laughs> Oh, Still haven't that. seen this fish yet, you know. Mm. Let's have a look. Oof. Oh, there we are. It's a beautiful common. Yeah. Wow, well done. A good look common. at that. Yeah, it's nice. That's a beautiful fish. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. It's a really plump fish, isn't it? Yeah. Healthy, you see that? Yeah. 
full of energy. I don't think I would have landed him on the waggler. Hmm? Maybe. Pascal, that's a beautiful carp. That one's over 10 pounds, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. Lovely colours, gold. Yeah, it's absolutely immaculate. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that, it's a really strong fish as well. Yeah, just put it back. Yeah, well done, mate. Yeah. Bye bye lady. See you. Hey, well done mate. Thanks. <laughs> That's yeah. a beautiful fish. Nice fish. I'm gonna go and get back to those roach and yeah. silver bream. Yeah. Hey James, what's going on? <laughs> well that was a great carp you caught oh. mate. You okay? Yeah, yeah, just getting back now, just uh, seeing if they're still here, but. I've you know, if you tell me about your fishing, I give you a little gift. Oh, go on. I like the sound of that. You know what? Hey! <laughs> oh. Enjoy. You need it. You deserve it because you caught so many fish. I'm truly in heaven now. <laughs> yeah, it's been a wonderful afternoon. Yeah, fish is on, huh? I've been catching some nice roach up to about eight ounces, half a pound. Wow. Quite That's a few good. silver bream and hybrids. Cool. Some big roach. Sante, mate. Oh. Mm. You're welcome. So tell me so, a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, um, I, I wanted to fish a waggler when the wind dropped and we got this beautiful conditions. And um, it's a great method, this, for, for catching fish like roach and bream and rud um, and I'm just amazed how quickly the fish responded. Yeah. Do, do people fish like this much in France? You know with a, you, I think you call it match style? Not so many. I think in the 80s or 90s, let's say a long time ago, when I started ma match fishing myself, many people were fishing match on, with Wegler and but now more, more people fish uh, mostly feeder, you know, yeah. method or pole on Carpodrome. Yeah. Few people fish uh, left uh, on, on the match, which is a pain because it's so nice and it, so efficient. It's a beautiful way of fishing. And um, for me, you know, you don't need a lot of gear. You yeah. don't need a lot of equipment. I like the float. Yeah, and, and you're things. watching the float. So Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, oh, there's another the nice roach, look. Wow. That's a gardon. Gardon in France. <laughs> Le gardon. <laughs> We say, there is an expression in France, we say fresh as a roach. Fresh as a roach. It means that you are very fresh and healthy because yeah. when you take a roach in your hand, it's so fresh and nice and healthy. Wow. So it's an expression I think in France. All the fish in this lake are in a beautiful condition, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, because they live in deep water and there are many weeds and there are three rivers coming through the lake. So it's, it's very good condition for the fish with a lot of... Uh, response with stream and many predators also. Yeah, I bet. So it's nice. But uh, I think today, as I found fishing a feeder, because it's quite deep out there, I think a lot of the fish are off the bottom. I don't yeah. think they're in the deep water. Yeah, I don't know I if you agree. The, if they are in the thermocline, as we say, we are yeah. in the middle water because it's better for them. Yeah. I well, I'm, you, I'm, catching, I'm catching on the drop, so I'm catching with the bait falling through yeah, the water. falling down slowly. And I'm feeding regularly mm. a little bit of bait every cast. Oh, and we can the see bling. the bubbles, I know. We... God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of fish there. Woo. It's a truly spectacular venue. I think there is a school of bream there. <laughs> so Pascal, you've been helping me uh, set up a French website to sell Cadence here. Mm. And, also uh, organized the brand ambassadors and lots of marketing. So yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, we just start, mate. Oh, I was looking at you oh. and I missed a bite. Look at your float, not at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. And we will start this season and we, we will, I think we will push a lot to get new product. And uh, I think we are in a good shape now because I think delivery should improve and we should be in a good mood like you are in UK. Yeah, okay then, so. it's definitely been a bit challenging with the supply issues, but uh, they are improving now. Yeah, but uh, the good thing is people start to speak about it. And anyway, it is life. We will we will push again and again. And I think we've got a barbecue planned, haven't we? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> 
Will we have some nice burgundy wine? Maybe some water instead. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm sure we'll have a, big, a little bit of taste of burgundy wine because we are there to test it also, you know. Well, thank you very just, much. Just a few, but... <laughs> and the, you've got so much amazing fishing in this region, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we are lucky. I think it's a great uh, venue for people coming from UK who want yeah. to spend holidays with family and kids. And yeah. Because there are campings around there, there are many B&B, uh, you know, restaurants, many areas where people can stay, so... Yeah, well, anything, anything people would love to know, they can contact me through the website from UK also, you know. Thanks a lot, that's really okay. kind. Yeah. James, I'm just amazed about your technique. Tell me a little bit about your style of fishing there. Well, yeah, so, um, you know, we talked about waggler fishing. Mm -hmm. um, the rod I'm using is one of our CR10 match rods. It's 15 foot. And mm -hmm. this is the zero version. You know how we have the different powers for... Yeah. Zero is a softer one, right? Yeah, so zero okay. is a softer one. And I like a, a 15 foot match rod. Um, a lot of the time when I'm fishing with a fixed waggler like this, you know? So mm -hmm. the waggler is fixed on the line Yeah. by the bulk shot. Yeah, yeah two So two most legs. of the shot, like 95% of the shot capacity is around the float. Okay. Uh, that's the main idea of a waggler. And then yeah. I've just got a few small shot down the line. I've actually yeah. changed my shotting pattern. I've got three number eights yeah. in a little bulk yeah. around about, I don't know, uh, one meter from the hook. Mm -hmm. And I've got two small number 10 shot. Yeah. To let it go very what, slowly. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is make the rig a bit more positive because I'm getting so many bites and the fish are sometimes taking the bait before I get a bite. Oh yeah. But to start with, I just fished with three uh, number 10 spread out to get the, that lovely fall of bait. Mm, nice. But um, for me, if I'm fishing in depths over eight foot, I like to use a longer rod, like 15 foot. Okay. If I was fishing less depth than that, I would just probably use a 13 foot rod. Yeah, 13 foot. Um, and I like fishing with a softer rod like this when I'm catching silverfish like roach and skimmers mm, and silver si Good size fish. Because yeah. you can still fish quite fine yeah. And you're going to hopefully land the fish, you know, without bumping them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and, good. You know, all the rods, they have a lovely tip, which is soft and yeah, very nice, nice through action. Very parabolic, very nice. Yeah, so that's the idea of the, of the longer rod. Mm -hmm. I've matched it with our CS10 4000 reel. So when I'm fishing with a longer rod, I like to match it with a 4000. Okay. 13 foot or less, I'll use a 3000. Okay. The line I'm using is a little bit heavier than what I would normally use. This is a 018 millimeter. 18, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it gives me the chance to fish a bit stronger hook length, you know, especially when you talked about the carp. Mm -hmm. So it gives me the chance to fish a bit heavier gear. Yeah. Um, the hook length I'm using is 0 0.012 at the moment, and I'm using a, a 16 hook. Yeah, 16. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that pretty much sums up the rod and the reel and the line. Mm -hmm. The float I'm using is a peacock waggler. Yeah. And you can see we call it an insert waggler. So yeah, it's got a tip, yeah, thin so it's tip. got a thinner tip mm -hmm. that's spliced into the thicker peacock. Okay. And the great thing with that is it it's very sensitive. You know, today it's lovely and calm. There's not much flow on the water. So I can fish with a lot of sensitivity and I can read the bites. So when the shot is settling, I can watch the tip settling yeah. and anything that happens, I can strike. Yeah, that's um, good. I saw other, that, I yeah, saw that. The other type it's amazing. If it, if it was windy, I'd use a straight waggler like that. Yeah. So that's just one piece of peacock. Classic waggler, yeah. Which is a thicker top. Mm -hmm. For one, I could, if I'm fishing a longer range, I can see it better. But also, if I'm using, uh, if I'm putting the bait on the bottom, mm -hmm. it's more stable. Okay. With an insert, if, it, if there's any wind or flow on the water it will pull mm -hmm. the insert under yeah. so I use a straight waggler okay. but it's so simple isn't it yeah and it's so easy with yeah. this weather yeah it's good um feeding uh I'm now just loose feeding maggots and a few bits of corn I haven't got a lot of bait mm -hmm. um I put in four or five small balls of ground bait when I started fishing yeah and now I'm just loose feeding What's that? I don't know. 15 maggots, yeah. 20 maggots, but every cast yeah. to get the fish up in you the water. See, they're on it now. Yeah. Oh. 
So, so many fish there. I mean, have them, mate. <laughs> try, try again. Catch oh, well, a fish. I'm just going to have some beer first. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to change my hook length because uh, yeah. my hook was getting a little bit blunt. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that one off. And uh, I mentioned the hook size, yeah. but it's a, a size 16. This is a Drennan carbon match hook. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a nice fine hook. Small and strong. But anyway. it's pretty strong. Yeah. Um, if I was hooking bonus fish like carp, then I would, Could get uh, it. Yeah. I would use a, a forged hook. Yeah. But this is not a forged hook. No. So I'll just quickly tie that onto my hook length. I like to use quite long hook lengths, probably about 30 to 40 centimetres yeah. in length. Yeah. So there we go. It's roughly two metres deep there. Yeah, I've, mm. been, I've been changing the depth. Yeah. Um, but what I found is that the smaller fish, I think, are higher in the water. Those silver bream are a little bit deeper. But I'm still fishing probably, I don't know, 10 centimetres off the bottom. Yeah. I really think the fish are up in the water. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like they are. I'm not so sure if the lovely. corn came off then. I think yeah. the corn came off. Oh, yeah, it came off when you cast. Yeah, when I feathered the line, you know yeah, how yeah. I feather the line? Yeah. I couldn't see the corn land, yeah. so it must have come off on the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll hook it a bit better this time. So when I'm fishing like this, I just like to fish a, an overhead cast. Yeah, easy. Very gentle. Yeah. Cast past the Smooth. feed. Yeah. And then bring, sink yeah. the line and bring sink it back line, yeah. into the feed. And then I'm watching the float straight away because yeah. it's immediate. There. the fish can be intercepting it. So let's Look see if that. we can so see nice. if we can get a bite. I don't think there's anything better than watching Ooh. a float, is there? I missed him. Oh my God. <laughs> What a bite. Right, I'm going to try double maggot this time. It's so beautiful and quiet, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's the best time of the day. Just before dark. We still have two hours. I'm trying to feed and have a drink of beer. <laughs> I mustn't miss this bite now. So there you we know. go. Ooh, you see, that was a nice positive on. bite, wasn't it? Yeah, on the maggots. Yeah. Little bream. Little silver bream. Mm. What do you call them in French, these ones? Uh, brem, uh, brem commune. Yeah. Brem bordelière, brem blanche. So you think that's a brem, brem blanche? Oui. We, we call it silver bream, we call it brem, brem commune. Mais and, and they're not so big as uh, the as golden one, the big yeah, one. Yeah. There are a few golden bream in this lake, but not so many. Mm. There are many hybrids on the roach. Right then, let's see. I've gone back on the corn now, and I'm going to bring it a bit closer in as well, because yeah. I have caught some fish quite close yeah, in, on almost the... on a pole line, like at 13 meters, yeah. that kind of dis distance. It's full of bubbles there. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, I really should try it. Actually, I've lost my bait. Whether a fish intercepted it or... Hmm. We'll try again. Try again with the corn. So I think I'm probably going to just fish for another half an hour. Pack up and then yeah. look forward to the barbecue. Yeah. Take a good rest together. Right, the corn's definitely on. I could see the corn there. So many fish, man. Oof. Yeah, yeah, got him that time. He's on. Pascal. That's a good one. I couldn't miss that one, could I? Mm. Sounds like Bertrand's got a run. He has a run. <laughs> on his, maybe on his feeder rod. Yes.
That's oh. a fish on, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good roach, mate. That's beautiful. Oh, in the sun. Mate, that's another beautiful Oh, roach. nice. Lovely fish. I love it. I'm absolutely loving this. <laughs> that's fishing. And I've got over 30 pounds of beautiful roach, silver bream, hybrids and a couple of rudd. What an absolutely amazing day and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Let's get them back. <laughs>